What is a superpower to fast track your confidence when you're speaking public or speaking on video? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you one and most people will never focus on this. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're a coach, you're a consultant, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so my clients come in and what happens? They're afraid of putting themselves out there so they've never done a video or they put videos out but they they don't like how they look, they don't like how they sound or they do videos regularly but they're not getting clients from it. If you're in any one of these situations, today's tip is going to completely change your world to fast track your confidence from growing. So I'm very excited to bring this through because as coaches, as entrepreneurs, as consultants, we are here to change the world and getting your message on video is the fastest way for you to do that. But most people, they stop. They don't put their message out there because they're afraid these fears come up and it holds them back. So what happens is they get frustrated and they think, oh, I'm not the person, I'm just not good on video, I'm not the person that's made for this, I'm not extroverted, I'm more introverted, other people do it, I'm more behind the scenes, and all these reasons come up. But the thing is that you are able to share your message in such a big way when you speak on video, okay? It's a superpower, it's a necessity during right now, <laughs> during our time of COVID, because it's the fastest way to scale your reach, scale your message, but these anxieties and these fears come up. So I had a client today, actually, I was speaking with them, and they were telling me, like, you know, I really wanna put myself out there, you know, how, do I, how do I structure my talk, my videos, what are all the technical pieces? And I asked one question, this is a superpower, I asked one question, I go, look, this is all good, but that's not the obstacle that's really getting in your way. Okay, it's not getting in your way. What is getting in your way is ask this one question. Do you fully believe that you deserve success? Because they had all these goals, but I asked them, do you fully believe that you deserve the success? And they sat with it and they're like, ah, you know, yeah, yeah, I think so. And then as I sat with it more, they're like, no, I don't. And what was happening, it was on this, this pattern of just doing more doing more, putting more content out, learning more. Let me get more technical skills. Let me get better gear. Let me get this. It's all external. I need more of this, this, this. Instead, my friends, for you to become confident, this is, this is an inner journey. Okay, this is an inner journey. This is about you really reducing those fears and those insecurities and building your confidence. So how you have to do it? First, you gotta look and ask yourself, do you truly believe that you deserve success? Because most people don't. They absolutely don't. They're afraid of being an imposter or coming across looking bad or saying the wrong thing, but that's a reflection of your inner world. So how we take our power back is really to accept it and go, look, th this isn't about the potential negative comments or the haters or the trolls. This is about you not feeling like you deserve to be there, that you don't deserve to put your message, that you don't deserve to be heard, that you don't deserve to take up people's time when you're sharing your valuable knowledge that can absolutely change someone's life. Think about that. You spend so much time building your skill set, building you know, your experience, and then you don't feel that you're good enough to put it out there? You don't feel that's gonna change someone's life? Although you can have a roster of clients that you've made impacts in their life, but again, this is an inside out job. So bringing it back, I want you to focus on seeing that you actually are good enough, that you do deserve success. Now maybe you don't, maybe that's a protection, maybe there's fears, and that's okay. I'm not here to judge you, but I am here to illuminate that a lot of times my clients, they come in and deep down, they just don't feel they deserve it. Okay, they really don't. And there could be blocks, there could be patterns, there could be, you know, a lot of times the fear of success, this is something that most people don't think about. Okay, they, often people focus on the technical side and they focus on, you know, credit, credibility and experience and all this, but they don't look at the inner game and it, it really is about going inside and going, do I feel that I deserve it? And when you do that, you start showing up. Think about all your clients that you've helped. Think about all the successes you've had. Think about all the wins that you have. Instead of a laundry list of everything you don't like, focus on building yourself up. Focus on actually just being kind to yourself, more compassionate, more forgiving. Because the reality is when you speak on video, yeah, there could be some trolls and negative comments, but realistically, people are going to look at you and go, wow, I am actually impressed. You are courageous for putting your message out there. I wish I could do that. So the, the very fact that you put your message out there, people will look at you as a leader. But this is about you embracing it. And so that's the, the, my big message here, is the more leaders that we have that believe they deserve these good things, the better the whole world is because you're gonna show up. So with that, moving past this whole, the secret that comes up, it's asking yourself that question of what is it 
that you truly desire? And question number two is, do you feel that you truly deserve it? I would love to know, put in the comments below, what do you deeply desire? And if you want the fast path to become the most confident version of yourself, go to confidentonvideo.com. Uh, I have a course that is designed to help entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, business owners to fast track their confidence, to get them from being deathly afraid of speaking in public to confident to put themselves out there. If this is you, I absolutely encourage you to go check it out, confidentonvideo.com. Look forward to help you on this journey.